Wow. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I must acknowledge the Lord this morning in this place. And I just want to tell you that um, welcome to our pastoral care. I'm Rosemary Gordon and I'll be... A great big 
wonderful God. He has tested me and I have also proven my faith that God is mighty and he is strong and he is de a deliverer. And when the devil said no, Jesus said yes. So there is nothing that is going to hold me back to say there is not a God. We've got the power in the name of Jesus. I know people of God, when we are in troubles and we are in trial, we can call on the Lord. And guess what? If we put our power together, the devil knows the power that we have. So he tried to defeat God's people. But I want to encourage you this morning that let us put together. And when we got the power, the devil in hell will tremble and he will fear us. He wants us want to keep us apart. You know why? Because he see if God's people come together, nothing can ever happen in his camp. And I just want to worship God this morning. I just want to praise him. And I just want you to lift up your, your hands this morning. And we are going to sing, in, um, we, we fall down, but we got up. All right? And we are going to sing with our hands up like this. We fall down, but, but we, we get up. We fall down, but we get up. We fall down, but we get up. We fall down, but we get up. But we get up, we fall down, we get up, we fall down, we get up, we fall down, but we get up. the devil. We can stare him in the face and say, I am a winner. I am a winner. You lost again. So let us pull together because when we pull together, the devil will have to fear us. He will have to fear us. We are going to start our day's service by singing hymn 110. Mm -hmm. Evan Jubilee. Some glad morning we shall see Jesus in the hair coming after you and me. Joy will out to share. What rejoicing there will be when the sun shall rise. Heading for the jubilee, yonder in the sky. Oh, what singing, oh, what shouting, under the people in the Hallelujah, when we be no blessed, 
Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is a shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and he, the sheep hear his voice, and he call his own sheep by name, and lead them in, lead them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know 
his voice. And the stranger will they not follow, but will flee from them, from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understand, understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All ye that ever come before me are thieves and robber, robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find the pasture. The thief commit not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for his, the sheep. But he that is an arling and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and fleeth and the wolf catcheth them and scattereth them scattereth the sheep and the ireland fleeth because he is an ireland and careth not for the sheep i am the good shepherd and know my sheep and i am known of mine as the father knoweth me even so i the father and i lay down my life for the sheep and the sheep I have which are not of the fold they also must bring and they shall hear my voice and there shall be one fold and one shepherd therefore do it my father love me because I lay down my life that I might take it again no man taketh it from me but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay down it down, and I have power to take it back again. This commandment have I received of my father. There was a decision, therefore, again among the Jews for these saying. And many of them said, If at devil and is my mad, why hear ye him? Others said, there, these, these are not the word of, of him, of him that at the devil. Can the, a devil open the eyes of the blind? 22 and last. And 22 and last. And it was at Jerusalem that feast and the decision and that was the wind. And it was the winter. Dedication, sorry. And it was the winter. Here ends the reading of God's holy word. We honor it by saying thanks be to God. We are going to sing um, Your Grace and Your Mercy has brought me true. And I'm going to ask Sister A to lead us to the throne of God.
Just to take him at his word. Just to rest upon his promise. Just to know, thus save the Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, I trust you. Oh, I prove you. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. My precious Jesus. Hope for grace to trust you more. Hallelujah. We thank you this morning for the unmerited favor grace. We thank you most of all for your son Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our great high priest. Our savior, our redeemer. And there are so many things about you. Thank you, Father God. You gave us the very best that you had. You could have sent us an angel. But you said you sent us your son Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Jesus, as Jesus. many as receive of you, to them gave you power to become sons of God. Not only sons alone, but daughters of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are thanking you that this morning we are alive. Hallelujah. Many this moment are making preparation for funeral. But this morning you are yet to uplift your name. Hallelujah. Because you are worthy. John in the Isle of Patmos he said, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. To receive power and wishes and wisdom 
and strength and honor and glory and blessings. Many is not well in body, even myself. But this morning I press my way to be in your house. We pray for those who are sick, that the sickness, you will take it upon yourself. Because you are the great high priest who can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. Satan, you are a liar. You are imposing on God's property. I command you to take your flight. You are not welcome in the body of God's people. We bear the mark of God in our body. I pray, oh God, for a special opening and anointing in this place. Bless the messenger. Bless the minister. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Hallelujah. And sound the alarm. Help him to show the people their transgression. Because the day of your wrath is at hand. Bless us this morning in a special way. I'm asking you to touch the heart of every sinner. Oh God. That they will hear your word. They will eat up your words and repent. We pray oh God. That you will take this church in charge. In our present, in our absent, your divine glory will take full permanence of this place. Bless and take every one of us who have made it possible to be here this morning. Lord, we pray for the portion of your spirit. There is nothing too hard for you. For those who are not sanctified, please to sanctify them. Name of Jesus. Jesus, you say you're sanctified. Hallelujah. You are said that we too will be sanctified. And so this morning, we thank you for the cleanness. We thank you for the holiness. We thank you for your power. We thank you for all the benefits of your grace. And we thank you, Lord God, that we are ready for your glorious return. Bless and take full control. <clears throat> Make us and mold us after your will. Oh God, you are the potter and we are the clay. Oh God, we are young this morning. Make us and mold us. Many need to be made over. Whatever it is this morning, you are here. We pray for the portion of your spirit. We we'll touch every one of us. More of you, Lord. The longer we serve you, is the sweeter we go. And Jesus. for those who are weak, I pray to remember your words clearly. The weak say they are strong. Strengthen them, God. And them to wear sin. Live for you and shun the very appearance of evil. Because you are coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle or any such thing. Help us as we live from day to day, we represent our bodies before you and live in sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable service. With the whole our young, Lord Jesus, you call us into a holy calling. You are a holy God and a consuming fire. Your holy majesty bright shining as the sun. Bless this service. I pray that when we shall leave from here today, we shall feel your glorious presence with us and we shall say it was good for us to be here. Oh God, we thank you for what you have done and for what you are going to do. We thank you for the message. We thank you for the messenger. God, your Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, again, we welcome you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. <laughs> At this time, the PRO will come with the welcome and announcements. Morning, everyone. Praise Him. Please join me and let us sing that song again. Your grace. Everybody, please stand there.
Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah. I give God the honor today for his son Jesus who died on the cross for our sins, saved us and made us whole. And for that I give him all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. I honor the Lord for our host pastor, Pastor Michael A. Robinson, his wife, Sister Jean Robinson, sons Michael and Justin Robinson. I give thanks to all the people of God who are representing in the house this morning. Greetings. To our special welcome to Deidre, Deandra Young, Reed, please let her feel welcome. To our viewers online, thank you for joining us for yet another Sunday service worship. This morning, the Lima Church of God of Prophecy members are delighted to be devoted worshipers. On Monday of last week, we went to Montego Bay Church of God of Prophecy for choir in praise and Lima came back victorious. <laughs> I would have loved if everybody came out in their red and black. Look at me, Andre, sister, stay in our red and black. We were before. We won for largest choir and the best sounding choir. And I just want to express my gratitude to the youth and adult choir for coming together and representing the church well. A Sister Danet, stand up, ma'am. A special thank you to Sister Danet for always encouraging the youth to give her all. For encouraging us and preventing us from canceling. We had a great time and we are pleased to have been a part of the winning team. Particular thanks, Sister Betty, please stand up, ma'am. Miss Ava McBean for her assistance, perseverance, and commitment to the adult choir. We adore and give God thanks for you. Now look at our pastor. Pastor, pastor, pastor. Yes, we know you are more than proud. You are, you are so hyped about your youth and your church, and we can all Im imagine how hyper you are about your church. We give thanks to you for your service and commitment, sir. Our singers, music, singers, Ashley, Chavel, Tianja, um, they were the, the, the lead singers, we give thanks to them. But me and Ashley, Ashley, if I never we quiet us so nice, no. <laughs> All right. Our musicians, bus drivers, we give thanks to you also. Announcement. The sponsors, we give thanks to you, members of our church, pastor. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
the women ministry will have a social on Tuesday night. Please come out and support. Bethlehem, Church of God of Prophecy, Bethlehem, Judith, ministries to the pastor and virgin, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness, coming to his presence with singing. Pastor Purville and the officers and members of the Saltmarsh Church of God of Prophecy are delighted to extend this invitation to our annual rally. It is scheduled for Sunday, November 19, 2023 at 6 p.m. on church grounds. Your church is hereby invited to present an item in song. Programs will be sold for 200 and refreshments will be on sale. The United Church in Jamaica and Cayman Islands, Hamden United Church, Dear pastor and members, greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The above-named church invites you to their annual rally of the members on November 12 at 5 p.m. An item is being requested from your congregation. Contribution, adults 300, children 200. We are anticipating your usual support as we worship and praise the Lord together. Thank you, and I'll now turn over to your moderator. Praise the Lord. We are a winner. A winner. All right. When we're practicing, um, they said, I said when they were saying, um, I don't think we are going to win. I said, I don't take second place. So that I mean I'm going for first. So when, I, when we won, I say, I told you. All right, so we just have to go forward for what we want. We have to speak positiveness in our life, and then we will succeed. At this time, it's time for giving up after feeling so good about the announcements and our winning place. I know you're going to take out their best offering, and you're going to give it to God so that we can be even better. All right, we are going to um, ask um, Sister Dixon to pray. And I'm going to ask um, Sister Nicely, Ka Ka Camille, and, and um, I'm going to ask Sister Stacy to collect the day's offering. And Sister Chambers is going to bless the offering. We are going to sing It's Running Over. Oh, 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 oh,
Let us bless the offering and thanks. Most righteous and eternal Father, we thank you again, O oh God, for your care, for your mercy, O oh God. Lord, we thank you, dear God, that the windows of heaven are open and the blessing are falling today. It is joy in my heart since Jesus makes everything right. And so, God, we honor you, we glorify you, we exalt your name this morning because you are a never-failing friend. You said, Lord, weeping and wailing may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Lord, when joy comes over us, oh God, it's an overwhelming feeling. We feel so good. Lord Jesus, we jump, we shout, we praise, and we honor. And so, God, you have helped your people during time and time again. Oh, God, so that they can work. Oh, God, so that they can live loving and kind and someone can stretch to them. 
Father God, I pray, dear God, as the tithes and offering is placed in the hands of the people of you, dear God. I pray you may bless, oh God. Sanctify, oh God. I pray you may stretch it, dear God, that it will do your work, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you are worthy to be praised. You're highly exalted this morning. And Lord, we just want to tell you thanks for your goodness and for your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, we are going to listen to the choir.
divine over there free from care with the saints i'll shout and shine what a day that will be are you anticipating that day that day that day will be so great and we just have to live for god so that he can say welcome my faithful servant as i am about to hand over to our pastor i want you to stand and make him welcome praise the lord amen. amen thank you sister Courtney. amen praise the lord amen i greet you well this morning amen in the name of jesus praise the lord it's good to be with you in the house of the lord Another Lord's Day. Greet our moderator, Sister Garden, the praise team, the musicians, my brothers and sisters, friends, greetings. Those who are with us online, I greet you also well. It is good to be with the people of God. Amen. There's no better place to be but in the presence of the Lord. Because the word of God said we should not forsake the assembly of the believers. Amen. So it's good to be with you another Lord's Day. Praise the Lord. I personally want to extend my personal congratulations to the Lime Choir. I'm going to say this. You're on the main road, not on the back street. Amen. Praise the Lord. And do you know that women can put you into trouble? Amen. Whenever you go, someone goes to the Olympics and they win a gold medal, every tournament, them turn up and expect to be the winner. And you become a target. Amen. I said this to say that. A colleague of mine came to me and said, congratulations, Pastor Rob. And I said, well, you can't congratulate me. I didn't do anything. Congratulate the choir. But he said to me, you see, these days, my brothers and sisters, do good, all the good. Your phone, the phones. If you do something wrong, it's going to go abroad. And if you do good, it's going to spread. He said to me, and you know they sent it to the national overseer. And he said, what are we allowed to have world for young people? I 
It's, it's all over Facebook and I don't go there, amen? But I want to say to us as a people, we got to keep on keeping on. Amen? Got to keep on keeping on. I tell you, I am a proud man. I stand there listening to the choir. I, I, I'm not the person who goes to and says, we need to win. And I told some of the young people, we go there to give God praise, glory, and honor. When it's come, take it graciously. But don't go there that I must win. But it's like we win. <laughs> praise the Lord. Amen. I'm happy that we came out on top. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I believe they have some cake and wine here to refresh everybody when they are finished. Praise the Lord. And so I, I'm happy that you, we, we, we did went out and we didn't match them up. We just come first. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. That's, and I always say, teamwork make the dream work. Amen. And so when we work as a team, no one can stop us. That's why they kill the disciples, but they can't stop the church. Because it's teamwork. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. I, Sister Williams, you ready? For you see, you want to take membership here. I promise I'll give you a right and a fellowship this morning if you are ready. Please come forward. I, can you stand? Your mom is here and your sister is here, ma'am. Can you please stand up? Stand up. That Sister Foster, Foresight, right? Fraser, Sister Fraser. The Eps are coming. So we have Foresight, Fraser, and Mom, I want the brethren to let brethren know that you're a Christian. From the New Testament church, all the way in Trelawney. Right. So when you see come there, she's a part of us. Saying, Amen. What I'm gonna do, I'm just because you're from my sister church, Amen. All I'm gonna do is extend a right hand of fellowship to you, ma'am. Amen. I'm not gonna take you through all the process because you've already been processed. Amen. Praise the Lord. And many of you maybe she's a teacher, right? One of the teacher, right, ma'am? Um, she's an educator, right? And when you, you, there's a lot of educators in this place. Can all my my teachers here in Lima stand up? Retired teachers, present teachers, please stand up. Now, so you see you're not alone. You're surrounded by a group of educators. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I, all I'm going to say to you, I will not hand you the Bible, not the process. I'm going to just read to you and extend my hands to you, ma'am. By the virtue of authority that vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I pronounce you, ma'am, a member of the Church of God of Prophecy in Lima. God bless you. Come. Welcome. Amen. I'm just going to ask Stephen to be praying for you. Amen. Just to be praying for you. I'm going to ask some of our leaders to come and extend a right to the fellowship to you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Please stand for prayer. Gracious, eternal God, as we come before you once more. In your presence, almighty God, your fullness of joy. And at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Lord Jesus, we thank you for one more soul, almighty God, into your fold. We thank you, O oh Father Jesus, that we have been extending our bodies, almighty God. We are strengthening the stakes, almighty God. Lord, we ask of you today, O oh God, never take your hands off us, almighty God. Lord, as we are here today, Lord, give us the strength. Give us the power 
Give us the, your glory, almighty God. Your grace and your mercy. Your unmerited favor, almighty God. We do not deserve it, almighty God, but you have granted unto us. Our sister today, almighty God, I pray, oh God, that as she's here today, Lord, we are now one in the fold. Lord Jesus, I pray, dear God, that you cover us. I pray to, today, Lord, that you just keep us and guide us, almighty God, as we work together as a unity. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Congratulations. Can we leave this cup? Let's extend a hand. Fellowship to Sister Williams, please. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Give God praise, man. Amen. It's ready to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down, the same. Amen. I want to read Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, just one verse, just one verse. Acts chapter 10, verse 38, just that one verse I'm going to read. Amen. Just one verse. It read, O oh God, anoint Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of devils, for God was with him. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you again for today. We thank you for your presence. We thank you, Lord, for what you have done before. But even now, Lord, we ask that in this presence, hallelujah, this atmosphere, we ask that your Holy Spirit will do something more than what we think. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen. If you, you are persons who love to watch the television, especially the news, I believe these times you try not to watch the news. Because each time you turn to these channels, you feel the press. What is happening in the world? Persons are asking questions today. Is really there a God? When they see all the atrocities, the floods, the earthquakes, and all that is happening around us, they, be, they are asking questions. And some of the questions, they can't get any answers. But I want us to understand today that the word of God changed not. Amen. The word said that God esteemed his word higher than anything else. So it doesn't matter what men want to believe of. What God says is going to do, he will, and it's going to be done. Amen, somebody. But I want to use for a topic when Jesus becomes real in our lives, he will heal. 
When Jesus becomes real into a nation, then that nation will be healed. When Jesus becomes real in an individual life, then things will begin to change. Amen, somebody. Here in the text I've just read, state that of oh God anoint Jesus of Nazareth. We understand that when Jesus was baptized, the Bible state that a dove came down and rested upon him. Today, we can't see that visible expression, but in the spiritual realms, we can see what God did to his son. Amen, somebody. And so is it today, the people of God must understand that Jesus was anointed in his own season. Hallelujah. And in his own time in the flesh. So is it as God's people, we must be anointed to carry out our earthly task. Amen, somebody. A king must be anointed before he ascend upon his throne. And the person understand that. Hallelujah. And so is it as God's people. God wants to anoint us for a season like this. Amen, somebody. He said to the disciples that they should go wait in Jerusalem until they endure with power from an eye. Amen, somebody. That means when God becomes real in the life of his the believers, hallelujah, they will receive something more than what they had before. In a few minutes. But here, what I mean by this, everyone has a purpose in life. Every single believer right here has a purpose in life. Hallelujah. You can turn or ask yourself, uh, what is my purpose in life? Amen, somebody. What is my purpose of living? Anybody have ever asked yourself such a question? What is my purpose? Amen. I'm coming to church. This is Pastor Akir Sunday. I'm coming to church. Uh, what is my purpose? Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, but my brothers and sisters, uh, one of my purpose uh, is to praise God. Uh, amen. So, uh, my, one of my purpose uh, is to glorify God. Uh, one of my purpose uh, is to live right. Uh, one of my purpose uh, is to live holy. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, what is my purpose? Uh, amen meant somebody uh, it's not just to hallelujah to come to church uh, but my purpose uh, is to walk right uh, my purpose uh, is to talk right uh, amen somebody uh. so there are some purpose uh, hallelujah but as people of god uh, we can't live purposeless. Uh, we must have a purpose uh, to serve God. Uh, amen to somebody. Uh, that's why the Bible said God is a night Jesus uh, of Nazareth uh, because Jesus uh, is God uh, but he has a purpose uh, to fulfill uh, at Calvary uh, to die uh, for you and 
hell in the tomb of here. That's why he came uh, and planet earth uh, for no other reason uh, but to die uh, for my sins uh, and your sins. Uh. Amen, somebody. Jesus didn't come here, uh, amen, uh, that we may have wealth uh, and prosperity. He came that we may live, uh, hallelujah. He came that we may have life uh, and have it more uh, abundantly. Uh, anybody understand what I'm talking? That's why Jesus came. Uh, hello, 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 somebody. You see, we, we can't understand at times why we are saved. Uh, we are saved, uh, amen, somebody uh, from his wrath to come. Uh, we are saved, uh, amen, somebody uh, from hell. Uh, but we are saved that we may have uh, abundant life, uh, amen, somebody. Uh, if we don't have abundant life, uh, then this life we are hopeless, uh, amen, somebody. Uh, it is hopeless living. Uh, oh, glory to God. God. He said that Jesus went about uh, doing good. Because Jesus was anointed. Uh, that's the same Jesus of Nazareth uh, who says that nothing good comes from Nazareth. Uh, anybody have understand uh, that there are some places in Jamaica, uh, some places said nothing good can come out of that community. Uh, nothing good can come out of that family. Uh, you know, you mean somebody. Uh, they said nothing good can come out. Uh, but I want somebody to understand. Uh, hey, Amen. Something good. Uh, hallelujah. Can come out of anybody, uh, out of anyone. Uh, there's purpose in every person. Uh, hey, Amen. Somebody. Uh, there's purpose uh, in every broken spirit. Uh, there's purpose uh, amen to somebody uh, in those who are condemned. Uh, hallelujah. There's purpose. Uh, somebody thought there's purpose. Uh, I have purpose. Uh, and purpose cannot die. Uh, it doesn't matter what the enemy wants to say. Purpose cannot die. Uh, amen. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, purpose cannot die. Uh, somebody say, I fall down. Uh, but I'm going to get up. Uh, because there's purpose uh, in me. Uh, somebody say, there is purpose uh, in me. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus was anointed with the Holy Ghost and power. Amen to somebody. Uh, that's why Jesus could have declared uh, to the disciples uh, that all power uh, is given unto me. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, in heaven uh, and in earth. Uh, I want somebody to understand uh, that Jesus has authority uh, in heaven uh, over the angels. Uh, amen. That's why uh, the 24 elders bow down uh, on his feet and worship him. Uh, Amen, somebody. Uh, he has power in earth uh, to cast out devils. Uh, somebody understand. Uh, it was Saint Jesus. Uh, I'm talking about. Hello, somebody. But he said he went about doing good. He went about uh, in every community. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, in every community, uh, Jesus went. Uh, he was doing good. Uh, amen. Somebody, uh, when he was on the road uh, of Damascus, uh, he healed a blind man. Uh, when he was on Jericho Road, uh, he healed a blind man. Uh, hallelujah. When he was going uh, to Jairus' house, uh, hallelujah, he healed a woman uh, with a issue. Blood, uh, oh hallelujah! He continued on his journey. He raised I was not uh, hallelujah. When he went across the lake, uh, he went to the tomb uh, in the graveyard. Uh, hallelujah! He cast out demons uh, out of a man. Uh, hear me, somebody. Anywhere Jesus is, uh, he's there to do good. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, if Jesus. Uh, He's here with us. He's here to do good. To heal somebody. Hello. He went everywhere. Healing the sick and the oppressed. 
appearance. Uh, anybody understand uh, what I'm talking about? Uh, the same Jesus. Uh, amen. The same Jesus. Uh, what we are talking about? Uh, he sits on the right and the power, uh, making intercession uh, for you and I. Uh, amen. Somebody, uh, when you cry out uh, to him, uh, he will change the situation. Uh, amen. Somebody. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Some of us uh, should have passed away. Uh, but when you cry out uh, and call on Jesus, uh, he push back uh, the door closed. Uh, when Jesus becomes real, uh, anybody ever have a problem, uh, a struggle, uh, and you can't understand uh, how, 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 how uh, it passed by, uh, but because you cry out to Jesus, uh, he hears uh, and he answers prayers. Uh, he met somebody, uh, he hears uh, and he answers prayers. Uh, somebody listening, uh, watching, uh, you're going through your struggles, uh, going through your problem. Uh, Jesus hears uh, and he answers. Ask uh, what you will. Uh, oh God, somebody preach with me for the next few minutes. For Jesus, Jesus had never turned up anywhere and something not happen. You hear me? I've never read the text where Jesus show up uh, yeah. and things not gone. Uh, yeah. Amen. Somebody when he shows up, uh, when he becomes real uh, to his mother, uh, yeah. when Jesus becomes real uh, to Mary, uh, yeah. he went to a wedding uh, yeah. and he was there. Uh, yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah. And the Bible said that the wine uh, yeah. ran out. Uh, yeah. Amen. Somebody uh, yeah. and she came to him uh, yeah. and said to him. Uh, yeah. The wine is run out. He uh, said to her, it's not my time. Uh, it's not my time yet uh, to begin to perform uh, in the miracles uh, which I must perform. Uh, but his mother did not take the answer. Sometimes, uh, don't take the answer. She prayed to the people uh, and said and put him uh, to the test. Uh, whatever I say, uh, do it. Whatever he said, do it. Someone said, do it. Uh, Somebody shout, uh, do it again, Lord. Uh, do it again. Uh, do it again. Uh, turn me around again. Uh, transform me again. Good God, good God. She said to them, she was hearing him. And she said, son, I believe it's a mommy. Ah, it's not my time. It's not my time. Ah, because God is God of time ah, and season. Ah. But she turned to the people and said, whatsoever I say, ah, do it. Ah. Can I talk to somebody? Yeah. Whatsoever I say to you, ah, he's talking to you. Ah. It's a time of transformation. Ah. It's a time of refreshing. Ah. Whatsoever I say to you ah, in the spiritual realms, ah, do it. Ah. Are you with somebody there? Yeah. Yeah. And the Bible says, yeah. he told them, yeah. take this big jar, yeah. throw water yeah. Yeah. into the jar, yeah. throw pour water yeah. into the jar, yeah. Yeah. and when they draw, yeah. Yeah. it becomes wine. Yeah. 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 Here is somebody here. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same Jesus yeah. 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 we are talking about yeah. Yeah. who turn water yeah. 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 into wine. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to make wine, yeah. Yeah. you got to ferment it. Yeah. 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 Got to put other things in it, uh, yeah. but Jesus uh, yeah. can turn your water uh, yeah. into wine. Uh, yeah. Jesus uh, yeah. can turn uh, yeah. your situation uh, yeah. around. Uh, yeah. Somebody shout, uh, yeah. turn it around. Uh. Yeah. Somebody shout, turn it around. Somebody shout, turn it around. Turn it around. And healing all that were oppressed of devils. Oppressed 
Hallelujah. A devils? Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. I want us to understand. Amen, somebody. Even today, the devil is oppressing some people. Can I explain this? Can I explain this a little bit? The devil can oppress any believer. Like it becomes this courage. Let you have doubt in God. Amen. But he can't possess you. Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So the devil can oppress you. Somebody can tell you, Samantha, God ain't going to do it for you. Are you going to become big? Prince, huh? and said oh god did it for somebody else huh? but he can't step inside of you huh? because i bear the mark of christ huh? amen somebody huh? i am a blood washed saint huh? amen somebody huh? that's why the word of god says huh? when i see the blood huh? i will pass over you huh? when the devil see the blood huh? he only try to oppress you huh? so hallelujah somebody shout it when the devil see the blood, he got to pass by you. He cannot press you. Do you know that? That he try and will oppress you. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. He will try to stop you. Uh, he meant somebody. Uh, he will try to stop you. Uh, he tried to stop Jesus. Uh, he meant somebody. Uh, he tried to stop Jesus. Uh, but Jesus said to the disciples, uh, He meant somebody. Uh, don't rejoice that you see devils uh, cast out, uh, but rejoice that your name uh, is written in glory. Uh, he meant somebody. Uh, Jesus said, I see the devil uh, cast them from heaven. Uh, and he came down with power uh, to oppress, uh, to deceive. Uh, he meant somebody. Uh, what he does uh, to oppress uh, and deceive, that's his work. Uh, but Jesus is here. Uh, and on our side, somebody said, Jesus. Uh, somebody call the name of Jesus. Uh, somebody call the name of Jesus. Uh, they said, Jesus, of the ability. Uh, and the power uh, to deliver, uh, to set free. Uh, amen, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, let me run along here. Uh, amen. Here, here God anoint his son uh, with the Holy Ghost and with power. Uh, the Greek word, uh, dunamis power, force, or ability. Uh, anybody understand uh, that when you have a Ability uh, to do something of power, uh, you got to exercise that power. Uh, amen. Somebody, uh, you can't sit down with authority, uh, with power. Uh, if someone employ you uh, as a manager uh, in their company uh, and gives you that physical power, not dunamis uh, power, uh, you can't sit with that authority, with that ability, you got to get up uh, and move around. Uh. You know, somebody, uh, I've been to the U.S., uh, I've seen persons who are managers, uh, and I see them with a map in hand. Uh, uh, what the uh, fell on the floor? Uh, but they will not call somebody to do it, uh, to exercise the power that I'm the boss. Uh, they begin to map the floor. Uh, as Christians, uh, as believers, uh, call does it Invested in us, uh, his authority uh, and his power uh, to carry out the task. Uh, I can't call him and, uh, and say, You go and do that, uh, and you go and do that. Uh, I gotta get up uh, with the authority uh, with God has invested me uh, to carry out uh, the mandate uh, of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, that's why God uh, anointed his son uh, to carry out. Uh, his mandate uh, to save man. Uh, Moses could not save Israel. He could have carried them uh, across the Red Sea. Can I, can I preach a little bit here? Jesus was anointed uh, to save us. Joshua uh, could not save Israel. Uh, he could have just bring them uh, across Jordan uh, to the promised land. Uh, hello, somebody. The apostles uh, could not save us. Uh, it's Jesus uh, of Nazareth. Uh, somebody praise him. Uh. 
Hallelujah. This word derived, we derive out of the English word dandemite. So when a uh, uh, hallelujah believer uh, is empowered by the Holy Spirit, uh, you're just like a stick of dandemite. Uh, amen. Somebody, uh, you don't worry about the devil's oppression anymore uh, because you can't stop him from oppressing you. Uh, uh, you got to stand up in your holiness uh, and in your righteousness. Uh, stand up in the power uh, which God gives to you. Uh, you see, every believer is like a stick of dandemite. Uh, they broke the devil's kingdom. Uh, whether you're young or old, uh, you're just like a stick of dandemite. Uh, when you light a piece of dandemite, all uh, uh, what's going to do is blow up everything around it. Uh, that's what I'm saying, every believer. Uh, you got to know that your power uh, to blow up every works of the enemy. Uh, anybody understand what I'm talking about? Uh, but Jesus said, I give you power uh, to trade upon your serpents uh, and upon the scorpion. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, your power uh, to walk uh, up in the Serpents, huh? and scorpion, huh? every pipe and spirit, huh? you can walk upon it. Huh? Amen. Somebody, huh? you said, I give you power, huh? my God, my God, huh? to lay hands huh? on the sick, huh? and they shall huh? recover. Huh? Anybody up here huh? understand huh? who can up? You have the same power. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, you have the same power. You have the same power. Hallelujah. Hold on, let me cut this. Let me cut this. You have the same power. Go on, you have the same power. So for God, you have the same power. It's not permitted. You have the same power. Jesus said, I give you. He can I give you. He didn't say just you as individuals. He said to the disciples. He didn't say, Peter, Lord, I give you power. He said, I give you power. I give you power. He said, I give you power, Heinz. Jesus said that I give you power. That's a problem today. We feel that the power lies in one or two persons. Huh? But Jesus said, I give you power. Huh? The power is in us. Huh? Tell some of the power of Jesus Christ huh? is in us. Huh? Amen. Somebody. Huh? And his power is not limited. Huh? Amen. Somebody's power is not limited. Huh? Amen. Somebody. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Huh? Hallelujah. That's why Paul uh, in Romans 1 16 says, uh, Because Jesus has given him power, he has given the same power to us. Uh, Paul said, For I am not ashamed uh, of the gospel uh, of Jesus Christ, uh, for it's the power, uh, for it is the power. Somebody said, For it's the power. Uh, Somebody shouted, uh, for I am not ashamed uh, of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, I can witness uh, wherever I go, uh, in my workplace, uh, on the street, uh, in the taxi, uh, on the street corner, for I am not ashamed uh, of the power, uh, for hallelujah, of God, for it's unto salvation. Somebody. Praise him. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The anointed Christian will talk about Jesus. So the anointed Christian will talk about Jesus. Wherever you go, uh, oh, hallelujah, uh, you don't care uh, who the person is, uh, you will talk about Jesus. Uh, amen. Somebody, uh, I said, the anointed believer uh, will talk about Jesus. Uh, and the Bible says, uh, but he shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and he shall be what? Witnesses. A witness will talk. Tell somebody about Jesus. Amen, somebody. A witness wherever you go. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, will talk about Jesus. Amen, somebody. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, amen. Uh, the anointing will uh, process uh, 
every believer. Uh, amen, somebody. And you will become more powerful uh, than you were today. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, the anointing uh, will send you to heal the sick uh, and the broken heart. Uh, can I tell you something today, my brothers and sisters? Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I am not telling anyone uh, not to go to a doctor. Uh, but can I tell you today, uh, sometimes when you go to the doctors, uh, you will come back worse than you think. Uh, amen. Somebody, uh, they don't have the answer. Uh, and they're wondering what is happening to you. Uh, or asking you what is happening to you. Uh, but I want somebody to understand uh, what I'm saying. Uh, this Jesus I'm talking about. Uh, oh, hallelujah. He is the great physician. Uh, oh, you know him is somebody here. Yeah. God anointed. Uh, amen. Somebody here. Yeah. To heal the sick uh, and the broken hearted. Uh, amen. Somebody. God uh, anoint us as believers uh, to stand up in the season. Jesus said to preach deliverance to the captive. Uh, the recovery of sight uh, uh, to the blind uh, uh, and to set that liberty them that are bruised. Uh, uh, amen, somebody. This word bruise means those who are crush uh, in society uh, crush uh, uh, wherever they are uh, they feel like they are nobody uh, uh, hallelujah nobody uh, uh, amen but Jesus will make you somebody uh, uh, hallelujah uh, when you feel like you are nobody uh, Jesus will make you somebody uh, are you me uh, look at your name, your name uh, when they make you feel like you are nobody, Jesus will allow you to become somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We'll make you become somebody. Yeah. Hallelujah. I want us to understand that when Jesus becomes real, things begin to change. Uh, every situation, uh, amen, will change. Uh, hear what the word says in Psalms, uh, hallelujah, 40 and verse 2. Uh, he brought me up also, uh, hallelujah. Uh, how an horrible pit, uh, hallelujah. Uh, when someone is in an horrible pit, uh, most time nobody sees them. Hello, somebody. When you're at your lowest point, no one will seize you. Amen, somebody. When you are down and out, at times no one is there to lift you up. Uh, what the psalmist said. Uh, you know, hallelujah, out of a hour, you hold up a mighty clear. Amen, somebody. The psalmist said, he brought me out. That's the sound is now. He brought my He put a song. A song. Give me a card. Now I'm going to get it. Anybody up here and that's what I'm talking about. Nobody sees you when you are down and out. Hallelujah. But Jesus sees you. Well, it are coming. Anybody up here understand that he brought you out of an horrible pit? What is an horrible pit? Jeremiah was in an horrible pit. Hallelujah. Jeremiah was cast into a well where it was just mock. And every time he tried to turn, he was sinking in the mock. Are you doing somebody? But God was with Jeremiah in the horrible pit. All oh, the price of your understand. You're coming from a far way. Some of us are coming out of a horrible pit. 
Hello, that's why I can't sing the song. He brought the altar of the Maya Rekaya. He brought my feet. Oh, glory to God. I don't know about you. I still don't know about you. But when you find yourself uh, into a horrible pit, uh, scorpion, uh, shinnik, uh, outside that venomous piece, uh, inside the air, uh, but when God sees you, uh, he knows, uh, he plays a mark upon you, uh, so you can come out uh, of your horrible pit, uh, rejoicing, uh, anybody up here, uh, I've never been sick, uh, I've never been tormented, uh, Hallelujah. And God, bring uh, you out. Uh, somebody told them, uh, God, bring uh, me out. Shout uh, again. God, bring uh, me out. Glory to God. Out of the Maya, he set my feet on the rock to Hallelujah. 
hallelujah I'm standing at the rock all of the ground is sinking sand when Jesus becomes real in our lives we will stand on the solid rock glory to God Oh, hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory, glory. Becomes real, becomes real. Jesus becomes real in our lives. Becomes real in our lives. Jesus. Jesus. Becomes real, becomes real. Becomes real. Becomes real. Becomes real. Really, the lies. The Lord tells us, uh, you are wounded uh, for transgression, bruised, uh, for uh, iniquity. Uh, the transgression of peace uh, was upon you, Lord, uh, as by your strength, uh, your healer uh, becomes real uh, with a supernatural miracle. Uh, becomes real. It's just in my head. Do you do you do you know this song, this line? I watch the supernatural God rock of ages. Clap for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Yes. From thy womb, the stars have shown. We are seeing the world. Make us here. Thank you. 
Brothers and sisters, when Jesus becomes real in our lives, we can hide ourselves in Him. He is the rock of ages. Someone a few days said to me, Did you know that the founts of new diseases? Every time we try to go forward, the enemy said fear. And I want us to know when Jesus becomes real, we can hide ourselves in him. We are safe and secure. Lift your hands and one. Begin to pray. If you're online, begin to pray. Lift your hands if you're online with us. Begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we approach you one more time. Lord, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, for your word that you went about uh, doing good. Heal the sick and the oppressed and all manner of diseases. Lord, here we are today. We appreciate you. We thank you for being with us. Hallelujah to all this service. But Lord, here we are. We have some oppressed, some sick in their bodies. Hallelujah. Rock of ages. Hallelujah. We are sitting now. We are saying, God of Abraham, Isaac, the same God of Daniel, the same God of Shadrach, Michigan, of Bendigo, the same God of the apostles. We come before your presence this moment. Yes, Jesus, we ask for your healing virtues to touch sick bodies. Hallelujah. Touch, oh, hallelujah, from the crown of the head to the soul of the my God. Touch those who have ulcers to mock. Touch those who have ulcers to mock today. Bring the change, the transformation. Hallelujah. Let change become. Hallelujah. Touch your sons and daughters. Touch your sons and daughters. Touch your sons and daughters. Let them be a testimony that it becomes real in their life. That you have supernaturally healed their bodies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Save to the atmos. Remember my father-in-law in the hospital. Hallelujah. Remember the family who have lost the loved one. Remember them. Remember those who are going through different situations today. today. Families are struggling. Remember them today. Becomes real in the homes. Hallelujah. Become real in the homes. Become real in this community. Let men and women recognize you that you are Lord. And so today, we are looking in your hands. We believe you. And we tell your thanks. We tell your thanks. We tell your thanks, Lord. 
We tell you thanks for that miracle. Lord, we tell you thanks. In Jesus' name. Oh, somebody say glory to God. Oh, 
says, it's going to cover you. It is hands. And lay hands upon you. Represent the hand of God. Yes. said Moses you are my friend you are my friend uh, yes. and you can't see my face uh, but God said I'm going to put you uh, in the clink of the rock uh, I'm going to pass by you uh, I'm going to cover you uh, oh my Hallelujah. God the rock uh, where you can only see my God uh, hallelujah is covering somebody. Uh, oh, hallelujah in the rock. He's covering somebody. Hallelujah. In the rock I hide. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We take it slight sometimes. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sometimes you believe that this word, which was spoken word, that is blown by and that we But Hallelujah. when God says, when it becomes real in our lives, Hallelujah. everything, everything going to take place, going to take change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I believe Hallelujah. when it becomes real. Oh, hallelujah. I believe the supernatural. You know, when it becomes real. I believe peace must come. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, the world to come. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. When it becomes real, even our enemies must be at peace. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. As I stretch my hands towards your people. Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray for divine covering over the lives of every person in this room. Those who are upstairs, the children, those who are viewing online. Lord, 
I declare divine covering the over their Jesus. lives Hallelujah. in the mighty name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Mighty God, push back every power and every works of, of the enemy. Right Even now, I pray God. in the mighty right name Jesus. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Oh God, I, oh hallelujah. I plead your blood against every works of the enemy. Ah, cover your sons and daughters hallelujah. under your blood. Even now, I pray. Hallelujah. Declare blessing in their going out and their coming in uh, from now on. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the church say yes. yes, yes. Somebody yes. say yes. yes. I receive it. Say yes. yes. I receive it. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thanks for those of Jainas. Amen. Our friends online and praise team and everyone who come out today to worship the lord yes god bless you god bless you amen thank you again god bless you benediction please nobody saving grace for lord and savior jesus christ love of god the father full fellowship of the holy spirit comforter rest me in the body soul amen before you go